All right, uh, Chronics in the background. Um, this school, they've won it uh, four times. They were losing finalists uh, back in 2015. They're from Spanish Town, Monk Street, uh, to be exact. Let's take a look at St. Diego. Multi-time quiz champions and on the hunt for the fifth title. Unshaken, St. Jago stands as a force to be reckoned with. In the summer, um, when we just meet and everybody different, so there was most challenge was there. The whole team chemistry, it, it, was a, it took a while for us to basically bond as a team, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And once we passed that stage, you know, it was easier from there on. It's been a didactic journey. For as much as I've taught, I've also learned. I mean, the young men that I've been given charge of, they are diverse in terms of personality. My name is David Gale and I'm the captain of the St. Jago High School quiz team. Leader, inspirational at times, a bit quiet and reserved, but at the same time, he leads by example rather than his words. A very strong character in matches. My name is Joel Enriquez. Joel, who is, as the guys said, the clown of the group. At the same time, he's a very sneaky character. Quiet yet sneaky. Uh, the name is Shanari Lindsay. Shanari is Mr. Cool, as I describe him. He has the tendency to always keep the team on, the, on, on a good level in terms of composure. We have the two, the two younger members who are both in second form. I call them the prodigy. I expect a lot from them. Donald is a bit rambunctious. Leroy the same. And because of this, I think that they're always fighting. The guys always complain to me that they're always rambling. They have three senior members who are there grooming them and at the same time giving them good advice. So it's a, in describing the entire bunch, I think it's a good family, a good mix. What are the bones that make up the fingers and toes? Oh, that's correct. One game at a time has been St. Jago's mantra with all intentions to win, of course. And it's definitely no different for the grand finale. So to Campion College, the pressure is on. What part of speech joins clauses, sentences or words? Conjunction. Conjunction. That's correct. It's a young team and I'm realistic in saying that the aim has always been the finals. I think St. Jago always enters with the expectation of winning. The program is good. The students are excellent. Honestly, I saw the trip to the finals being there. But without putting the pressure on the guys, I told them to take it one match at a time because I know realistically that anything can happen. I'm just in second form and to reach this far, I'm very happy with, with, in myself to be this far in the competition along with my team. Many people might not know, but me and Joel we are from Jamaica College. Um, we have never made it past third round, so for our first year at St. Diego, making it to the finals, I must say it's a um, pretty good feeling um, to have her in the final. My mantra has been one match at a time. The team has been very composed and I just want them to go in there confidently and to do their, to do their best. Simply put, play the game that we have always played. It has gotten us this far and I think that it is good enough to get us over the line. There are a few tweaks here and there but I think that the public are into our, will be treated to a very good final. Right, shoulder flinging, but they're not flinging with the match tonight. That's what they say. But Campion has something else on their mind. Now, when they met San Diego in 2016, they beat San Diego 47 45. Yeah! Well, that's the plan again tonight, as you can hear. Let's take a look at Campion College, where red is strong. Campion College is back. 
after bringing the Braves to their knees and sending the Ardenites back to school because their best wasn't good enough. Campion College is steadfast in faith as they approach the last leg of their school's challenge quiz journey. This year it was really, really taxing because there was just so much pressure because it's their final year. The season began with our match against Jonathan Grant High School. Going into that match I think we were a bit wary. Um, last season we did not have a particularly strong start so we're hoping to rectify that this season. I personally wanted to put out my best to make sure that they get the championship that they really deserve. It's been a long and grueling season so far. Because it's a solid team. They're all, they're, it's all our own team. We have our two teams before the finals, but this team, the difference with this team and the other team is that we have the experience, the depth, because two members, as you probably are aware, are, this is their fourth year. The captain, Desmond, he ensures that we're focused on our goals. He's more balanced, he's more calm. The most meticulous one is definitely Desmond. Mm, hold, it, hold everybody together. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan is very vibrant very enthusiastic, very passionate. Because he has the most vibes. He performs best when he's riled up and worked up. If you say Stefan, the one that pushes, I don't want to hear any nonsense of you going on, he will just freeze. But once you let him go, he lost. So he's very passionate and stuff like that. Well, Shanta is kind of a, like a mixture of them both. She's like, at times she can be very fierce, but there's times when she's like, you know, solid and very calm. Shante, she's, she's laid back, but she's methodical. She's more docile, but she knows her stuff. Um, finally, uh, my vice captain, Clinton. I think on the team, Clinton and I are, 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 Clinton is more similar to myself. You know, Clinton's reliable with whatever he's doing. So he's both meticulous and very charismatic. He's good. He's solid. His physics is constant. Is overall, he's just all around. They're a good bunch, they're a good bunch. I think what makes us gel the most is the fact that we don't view quiz as just a competition and we don't view each other as just teammates, but as I said, it feels more like family. Campion isn't a collection of individuals. Campion is a team. And, and, and all four of us, we're not playing for ourselves, we're playing for each other. In 2015, St. Jago knocked them out in the semis. In 2016, they came back with revenge and lost to Titchfield after a sudden death experience. Will the third time be a charm for Campion College? Only time will tell. So in 2016, we had a very good chance of winning. Losing that match, that was a bit um, unfortunate. Um, especially seen as the, well, one of the final questions was a uh, press that I had made and I had misinterpreted the question. They wanted two options, but I, only, I, I had only given one. So knowing that that was the, that was the, um, a linchpin to the defeat was a bit um, disconcerting. In that year, 16, we had a team, it was a good team, very good team. But the difference with that team and this team is that this team, we bond together as a family. Not that we weren't a family then. I think what's different this year is that we will be more composed before and during the match. And I think that once we are composed, then we will play our best game and be very confident in our abilities. And then that will end up as champion, being the champions of 2018. But on a more personal note, the first team that I lost to in my first season playing quiz was St. Diego. So now being given the opportunity to go out beating St. Diego, that's a, it's a bit of a, um, a poetic justice, so to speak. I don't see what they're going to lose. If they deviate, and tend to play the other team's game. That is the problem. I just have the vibe that this year is our year. I tend to right the wrongs of the past and bring the bring the trophy home to 105 Hope Road. Hey, so coach, it's not a football pitch, but this match is gonna be equally as exciting. I'm nervous. Me too. Yeah. All right, much time when we come back inside the studios to Jean-Paul Menu, who's on standby. The live finals begin right after this. We'll be right back. <laughs>